Hi there guys and welcome back to some more undrafted to MVP. We're going to be playing through weeks 8 and 9 against the New York Jets and then the Seattle Seahawks. We're currently 6-0, so let's get into some training and look to make that 7-0 against the New York Giants. So we get into our first game of this episode and the Giants have come out and scored straight away. As always, we're going to come out running with Elliot. He is already over a thousand yards this season after six games. So he's looking to be, well, in the running for MVP, same as hopefully I will be. Picks up the first and that's another eight yards to his total. We're going to look at the, uh, the dig route here from Thomas. Hopefully Hearns will clear out the coverage. They look like they're in zone at the moment. It's man, it's a blitz. So we're going to hit Thomas there. We'll pick up 18 yards on our first throw. Elliot with a lovely spin there. Three rushes for 19 yards, so it's a good start to this game for us. We hit Hearns, he picks up the first down. Teams have been almost unable to stop us when we're running this inside zone play. I would say Elliot's got about 98% of his yards through inside zone. And he gets another 13 yards there. Unbelievable. Looking to hit, obviously, Michael Thomas, unless they cover it well. No, there's Thomas open. If he turns up field, that's a touchdown. He didn't turn up field very well, did he? We're going to go slant. It should, in theory, open up for either Hearns or Coppin. But it depends on the coverage. Looks like cover two. I think we're best off running this. And we're tackled. Mm. I don't think I was down at the one yet. We'll go for the stick play on the goal line. It spreads out with defenders, at least. What? What on earth was... Moncrief doing there, or whoever that was, number 10. Didn't even run the slant. Just, as I thought he was coming inside, he then just slipped back out again. <sighs> Should have been picked. Kind of looking at the rookie Coppin here. That's knocked out of his hands. Okay, we're going to have... We're not going to settle for a field goal. Or yes, we are. We obviously were 0-2 against the Giants last season with Dak at the, the helm. We don't want to be losing our first game this season to the New York Giants. I'm annoyed that we weren't able to actually score a touchdown there. That was, that was bad. Maybe we should have gone to the quarterback sneak. Was it a third down? But, uh, yeah, we are at least still able to move the ball. I'll we'll hit Michael Thomas there for another first down. We're four of six for 40 yards, so it's a decent start. This is zone coverage as the cornerback on the right-hand side there is outside of Adam Hearns. We'll hit... Well, I thought we'd hit Olsen, but apparently Ogletree is... Very good in coverage. Okay, see, go earn your keep. Up the middle. The offensive line are earning him his keep. That's 10 yards on that carry. And we don't actually have a lot of time left in this second quarter. The Giants have been able to chew a lot of clock on this in this first half. I said Elliot had 57 yards. He had 51 plus uh, my six, so, or Romo six. I keep saying my. I suppose really I am Tony Romo in this in this instance. Oh. Surprise, motherfucker. Yep. Terrible, terrible read. I saw the defender follow the drag and I just thought Olsen was open instead. Yeah. There's Thomas. We'll hit him again. Taken down by his face mask. So we do get an extra 15 yards on what we just got there. I'm going to go to slants again. Obviously, we have the best offensive line in football. And we're going to hit Michael Thomas again. 
they know that we're getting towards the, the area that we're going to be dangerous from. We'll hit Olsen underneath. There we go. We'll take a timeout here. Tight end and the, the wide receiver should spread the defense out. Oh, it's... Oh, we get the first down. We'll hopefully be able to hit Elliot out of the backfield. Or not. We're going to run out right and hopefully secure a rushing touchdown. And there it is. So our seventh They've shut us right down. We've got 166 total yards. 69 rushing, so yeah, it gives us just under 100 passing. Oh, Elliot, just making people miss. Wow, we need to, I think, block Elliot here. I want to ideally hit Hearns on his, um, essentially a hitch and go. That you're trying to cover in the secondary. Yeah, there he is. Gets the first down. Robo here on first down. There's Moncrief with a good catch. Now we've been throwing the ball a lot on this drive, so if we hand it off, fingers crossed, it should take him off guard a little. And there's another another big gain and another flag where he's taken down by his face mask. It looks like man coverage, but maybe it's like a cover one look. It is. So we'll hit Michael Thomas and he is fighting across the goal line for another touchdown this season. I think that's his 10th of the year. That's the confirmation, 10 touchdowns this season. He obviously broke through like five guys against the Panthers and this time breaks through two or three. If we throw one more touchdown, it will put us on to 20 for the season. And the fact that Thomas has over half of our passing, sorry, has half of our touchdowns that we've thrown shows how good he's been since signing from the Saints. Should be able to hit 100 on this rush. No, he doesn't. 12 for 97. It does mean that we're giving him a big boost in his uh, in his MVP standing. That's another huge game. We're going to hit Elliot. He does pick the, does catch the pass in front of Carter. And despite our struggles in the first quarter or the first half, we are now looking pretty good. They got somebody in the flat. We're going to hit Elliot over the top, and it's knocked away. All the time we have numbers inside, or we have at least equal numbers in the box to block for Elliot. So this is why our run game is doing so well. It looks like a blitz from the uh, free safety there. It is. So we'll hit Thomas, and he's tackled by the corner this time, but. Reading that blitz and throwing the ball where he's coming from. We're going to run the same play. I feel like they're playing man again, but cover two man. Or cover one man. But Michael Thomas is in for another touchdown. He's second on the day. Romo's second on the day. is 20th on the season. It is 24 all now. The Giants still have more yards than us, but they did start course with the ball. Elliot cuts it back well and gains another three yards but leaves us with a second and seven. 24 all. This is the tightest game we've had. We've got a good defense as well. It's not like, oh that's Olsen deep down the middle and he makes a good catch. Landon Collins makes the tackle. Elliot on the ground again. Breaking through the tackle essentially of Harrison there and he's up to 125 yards despite no um, no touchdowns today. I don't know why Zeke didn't just run forward. It's as if he saw the safety and was like, no, I'm not having any of that. Alan Hearns on the drag, hopefully here will be open. He was just 
we've been so balanced that we've only that we've had 40 plays, 20 rushing, 20 passing. Unbelievable. And Elliot has been the most productive of us all. Elliot's been the most productive of all of us. This Texas play is always nice to run, but it does depend on how the, uh, the coverage lays itself. I mean, I'm going to hit Olsen there because that was actually a better choice than throwing it to Olawale. They're in a goal line formation. We've got the, the full back in, which has given them five down linemen, four linebackers, and I think just two DBs. So it should leave one of the receivers open. We'll hit Thomas anyway, and that's a touchdown. Thomas is third, Romo's third, and another huge game from both players. So we don't normally come out in this sort of formation and run the ball, but here it is, Elliot up the middle. For five, it's just run the ball. Get ourselves out of this game because the Giants have been tough. You know, the fact that they blocked the extra point or forced a miss shows that, why would he run that way? Okay, that's why he'd run that way. Um, the fact that the Giants had uh, actually stopped us from scoring seven points would suggest that uh, they were going to go down and score if it wasn't for our very good defense. There's Michael Thomas. And he's down to the one-yard line again. Big gap. Well, it was a big hole, but he runs over Carter and uh, seals this game. I always look at the receivers on this play. I never look at the uh, the tight ends. But, oh wow! <laughs> so a bad throw there. We do finish the game 36-24 winners, and that means that we go to 7-0 as we wanted to do. Oh, nice picture. So after simulating our week nine training, we have another player point to add to Tony Romo's skills. Um, I'm thinking field general again. Uh, again, it should upgrade our short accuracy, which it has, plus another two, plus one awareness, but our Overall rating goes up to 88 and 89 with the plus one confidence boost that we're getting. We're going to look, have a look at the yearly awards, see who's leading that front. So Ezekiel Elliott, as I expected, tops that list. But look who's second. It's big Tony Romo. And, you know, that would be, that'd be quite an upset, I think, if we were to win it ahead of Elliott. Maybe we just uh, you know, stop giving him the ball. We uh, just throw to people instead. Let's get into our game against the Seahawks. So, the Seahawks score a field goal on their first drive. It's our job to go and take the lead now, as we often do in these games. We'll see how the Seahawks will deal with our potent Russian attack. Let's go, Zeke. Oh, that is a lovely spin and a lovely juke as well. 15 yards on the first carry. Ooh. Let's see if we can get Dante Moncrief perhaps um, on the deep crosser. If not, Elliot or Thomas should become open. Oh, we're sacked and... That was very, very close. So we had a bit of success with this play in the preseason where we had Thomas clearing the coverage and Moncrief uh, catching the ball on the corner. Oh, we're sacked this time, so we're going to end up punting. For a team with such a good offensive line, uh, it's a bit concerning that we had two huge sacks on back-to-back -back plays. Another run for Elliot. I think he stopped a bit short there. Yeah, to the left. It's a nice hole opened and he gets more yards a game. He's averaging eight yards a carry. And that 
leaves Hearns wide open on the crosser and he gets smacked, I think, is that Cam Chancellor there? At 6 nothing. We're still only a score down, so we'll continue to hand it to Zeke and then hopefully take over in the passing game. Okay, I don't understand Elliot's thoughts on turning sideways to run along the line of scrimmage essentially at points or parallel with the line of scrimmage. Just go north south and you'll get a first down almost every time. It just, it's almost like the safety eyes him up from a distance. He's like, whoa, no, 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 I don't need any of that. But we'll give it back to him anyway. There's the first down we wanted. See, look, there. Could have just gone straight. I'm not going to keep complaining about how he's playing because clearly he's our best player. So, oh, oh, oh. my words. That was bad. <laughs> We're throw the ball away because that was very well covered from the Seahawks. We are awful at the moment. 24 yards we've been limited to. I'm hoping to hit Olsen on this on the seam because uh, he should... No, he's not open. We're going to hit Hearns. Throwing left in, in this situation, I think, is the better option. There's Hearns, and he catches it for a touchdown. We tie the game up at six with the extra point we can take it. So we have been able to limit the Seahawks to three field goals on their three drives, but uh, you know our touchdown does give us a good platform to start from, even though we've only scored one from our two drives. Why did Elliot spin that? Hopefully he'll just go north, south, and run past everyone. There's always such good blocking. If he just goes straight up behind his blocker, he's got more of a chance of getting the first down. We've got cover two on the on the right, cover three on the left. They fake the give to Elliot. Now Romo. Uh, we're gonna hit it deep and hope that Thomas comes down. Well, Thomas did come wrap down with it, but it was Earl Thomas and not Michael Thomas because he didn't. Jump for the ball. Our defense is keeping us in this game. If it wasn't for them, we'd be well, we'd be absolutely ruined at this point. Four of seven for 43 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Those are Blake Bortle numbers. No. Really fine, but you just can't get into Playing it. Playing like Joe Flacco now. This is unbelievable. We're going to hit Elliot there on the streak. We can at least get a field goal out of this drive. I think we'll be okay. But it does mean we've got to start stopping the Seahawks here. There's Elliot with another catch. We'll hit Elliot. It was zone coverage. Again, Romo. We're sacked, okay, so we're going to take a timeout. Hopefully get the, the long field goal, 48 yards, 49 yards. Let's see how it goes. I think we get the ball back, though. It's time to clutch up and get, get ourselves a touchdown. I forget how good a lot of the Seahawks defenders are, despite their struggles. With a bit of luck, Elliot will get open in the flats, or Julius Thomas will become open on the corner, depending on whether we can pry on that corner. I'll just throw the ball away. No point taking a sack there or forcing the ball into coverage. So. Um, yeah, this could be our first loss of the season. This has been an absolutely awful game. So, yeah, this is uh, that's a pick six. This game is over. Oh, I don't even know why I went for the play action pass there. This has been a terrible game. We need to just hand the ball off and just get ourselves out of here. Or into 
interceptions. We're down by 17 points now. We need three scores. This is not going well for us. <sighs> Give the ball back to Elliot. Hopefully he can get a big run. Oh, I don't know how he was grabbed there, considering he had to grab him through his teammate. But, uh, you know, Madden physics for you. The human first down machine. I think that fits. There's Thomas again. Makes the catch. It's a tough catch as well. 105 yards and four touchdowns today. Sorry, four interceptions today is our stat line. It's been awful. Let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Back to throw, Romo. There's Hearns on the crosser. That's what we wanted. It was a little bit later that we had to throw in the ball. Later than I really wanted to. We're going to have to go no, no huddle for pretty much everything from here out. Elliot manages to get a good run. But again, he's trying too much. As Hearns with another catch. He's having his biggest output for us today. We took the lead in this game and that's the most disappointing part of this game. The defense on the last drive, you come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played. Oh. To throw is Romo. Dancing to go for the first down, and there we are, down at the five. Whether this gets anybody open is another another thing. Romo now to throw it. Sacked again. Frank Clark's been a massive thorn in our side in this game. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Uh, it's another sack. We're just being locked up. If we get a field goal, we're still only two scores down, but I, ultimately we need to be scoring a touchdown here. Now Romo. And that's also in the back of the end zone for a touchdown. So we have got one touchdown back. If we can stop the Seahawks. We didn't. Okay. No more mistakes. Four interceptions is this get in this game is unacceptable. Gallup breaks a tackle and gets eight yards there. It looks like we've uh, put more backups in or changed to the backups for this game because we're down by 17. Throw the ball away. It's been terrible. Hopefully we'll make the most of garbage time and get ourselves another score. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. That should have been a fumble. That was Bobby Wagner on the hit there. There's Thomas with another nine yard catch. There's Michael Thomas with another catch and Cam Chancellor takes him straight down. We're going to go with this play. Hopefully, Moncrief will get open. <laughs> he didn't. Thomas was just coming open, but we uh, got sacked for the fifth time just by Frank Clark. His fifth sack of the year. He's had all five in this game. This is that's a joke, isn't it? Really, he's been shit all year. We'll take Olawale there underneath. Manages to truck forward for 12 yards. They cover it underneath, then we'll throw it to Olsen over the top. Olawale is getting it again, and Olsen is getting Fuck you, Bobby Wagner. And there is Julius Thomas with a first down at the seven. To the air again, Romo. We'll take a couple of yards up the middle. He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so in picks. And we're sacked again. We had a good pocket, it's just, oh, it's Frank Clark again. Why the fuck does he keep turning up? Hopefully that will give us a chance to have a fourth down and short yardage. Or we'll just throw it to Hans, sorry, Moncrief for a touchdown. 143 to go. We can make it a six point, a six point game on this drive. Provided we don't uh, turn the ball over again. Or hit Thomas. 
time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game. Because there's Olsen wide open. Didn't get out of bounds though, you know. Didn't think about that. Looks like cover two zone. On first and ten, Romo. Wide open. Now a desperation throw deep. Catch a bitch. Oh fuck off. That's absolute bullshit. That ball was behind him and he just swooped around and caught it. But, you know, this was a this was a lost game. That's his third interception of the season, so a game. Ah. Okay, we lose 37 to 24. And that brings an end to our winning streak and also an unfortunate end to this episode. But we're looking to bounce back next week with a win against the Jets in week 10. But as always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in the comment below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing, including weekly episodes of Undrafted MVP, then please subscribe, and I will see you next time.